Instead of gathering together as in years past, this year the sleep out will be virtual, but the message remains the same. It really is about taking some moments out to reflect on the fact that there is an issue of youth and young adult homelessness in New Hampshire. Waypoint serves the homeless population from the ages of 12 up to their 25th birthday. Even in a normal year, it's tough to get a handle on the numbers. Now, the pandemic has made these youth much more invisible. Um, and it's been a struggle to stay connected to youth who are not coming into our space on a daily basis. Using a study by the University of Chicago, Waypoint estimates there are 15,000 homeless or housing unstable youth and young adults in New Hampshire. Currently, they only serve about 1%. Now expansion plans are in the works for sites in Manchester, Concord, and Rochester. We've been operating mobily, so this is a really great opportunity. The plans call for Rochester to open a drop-in center similar to the one in Manchester. Where they can um, get food, clothes, hygiene products, take showers, participate in pro-social activities. While the expansion in Manchester will take things a step further. We are working to expand our programming in Manchester to include an eight to 10 bed emergency shelter for young adults. But that takes money and the organization says they're looking everywhere for funds. This isn't something that Waypoint can do alone, but we know that it's much needed. Now, if you'd like to find out more about the sleep out or perhaps make a donation, you can always head to our website, WMUR.com. Reporting live in Manchester, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.